Hello YouTube world, welcome back to the workshop. A couple of weeks ago I turned a cat out of a piece of Roco and I would not believe the amount of interest that sparked. The amount of animals that people have asked me to turn out of wood has been quite phenomenal. Um, so what I'm going to do now, obviously if you've got a cat you will have a dog. So the first thing I'm going to do this week is just turn you a dog. This is going to be slightly different than the conventional dog, uh, but a dog nonetheless. Hope you like it. We'll start with this piece of Roco, it's about 100mm square and 130mm long. First thing I'm going to do is knock the corners off and get a tenon on this end. Now I'm going to wait, make sure I wear my uh, power cap because this Roco is not very nice stuff if you breathe it in. And I do apologise if it's a bit noisy because I'll also have my extractor fan on. So I've now got this set up in my four jaw chuck. I've still got the revolving centre in the other end. And as you see, I'm getting down. I've still got a small flat on there, but I'll just carry on taking it down. Where my finger is there, I'm just going to go in with my parting off tool just to give me an um, index for the bottom of the dog. So I'm carrying on my rough and chisel and I'm taking this down. This is going to be the neck of the dog. And I need eventually to take that down to around 12 mil, a half inch, uh, the force and a bit I got. Because that will want to be sitting in the bottom of the head of the dog. So I'm just coming in now, I've got my spindle gauge. I'm just really roughing down the shape of the dog that I want. Just gently curving that down. And then just coming back the other way. Again, we just want that sort of classic. It's almost like a Perrier bottle, a pear bottle. This Roco does turn extremely well. It's a lovely wood to work with. It's really soft. It is one of the sustainable hardwoods. Sands up extremely well. Lovely polish on it. But you have to be really careful about the sawdust. They're like little barbs. If you get them in your throat, you certainly do know about it. That I was just showing you was my force in a bit. That's what size it is. That size I need to get it down to. So I'm just using my calipers there, they've set it 12mm. And that'll be the size I want. So that's pretty much the shape I want. All finished, I quite like that. Um, I'm going to take this out of the chuck in a minute. I'm not going to part this off yet. Because I want to make sure that I've got the head and the body in the same sort of proportion. So what I've done is I've put a little pencil mark on there to line up with the number one jaw of my chuck. So that when I put this back into the chuck in a minute, I know I'll be in exactly the same place. So next I'm going to make the head. So that the same way. Not corners off, put a tenon on there. Not necessarily in that order.
bad, so I just want to clean that up there and sand that down. Just quickly sand that up. So that's a head completed. I have to say that a Roco does sound up really well. It's really nice stuff. Right, quickly spray with the denatured alcohol. It's all that sort of stuff. You see how much sits on that. You, as soon as you put your sand and sealer on, you'd trap all of that in. Sand and sealer. And again, because I think this is going to get handled a lot, I am going to use micro crystalline wax on this one, as opposed to ordinary high gloss wax. Because that does handle the sticky fingers and stuff like that oily hands a bit of cloth just buff that up right let's part that one off Just sand that off by hand and just put the buffing wheel on there so that comes up exactly the same. Next, I want to make a little button nose that is a piece of walnut, that should give me a nice contrasting colour on that. good just quickly sand that down a bit of polish and that's the same you get incredible finish off of that that's the size drill that I use so I'm gonna take that down We have a lovely little button nose. All right, I've tried that head on for size, I quite like the look of it. So, what I'm doing now is just sand this down and polish this up. So, I've sanded it right down to 400 grit. And uh, quick spray. Good thing about that being alcohol, it does evaporate extremely quickly. Put the sand and sealer. Yeah, we're going in with some micro crystalline wax. Such a beautiful shine off of that. Now we're getting part of that off. It's going to sit down on that base there. So when I come in with the part off tool, I want to come in at an angle like that. 
so it leaves me a concave sort of just set it on that rim just removing that out of the way I was ever so careful with him on that chisel slip and dig in there or else I'd have to start all over again left to do now is make two ears. Piece of sycamore. First thing I'll do just knock the corners off, get it into round. These ears to be quite long. I want them to hang down like a, like a King Charles Spaniel. Quite long, quite floppy. Good, I like that. So I'm going to do now is just sand those, polish them, get them over the bandsaw, cut them in half. Well, there we go, YouTube world. Another oh, product. Here's my dog. It's a little bit sad for itself. Body and head made out of a roco. Nose made from a piece of walnut. And the ears made from sycamore. cute something a little bit different hope you like it uh, as always I've been Steve Howe another great day down in my workshop I'll see you all again next week you look after yourself bye bye